Sagittarius, hi. This will be a collective reading for the zodiac sign Sagittarius. It does apply to sun, moon, and rising. Um, <clears throat> there will be an extended to this reading available on my Patreon, which is the first link below. Uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I already have one card pulled for you here. We, we start off with the moon. So this would entail a level of mystery. Um, it does talk about intuition, reflection, <clears throat> the subconscious mind, but it also sort of talks about the dark, scary path ahead, and maybe even having to leave behind certain comforts, such as, you know, visibility of the light of day. You have to worry about what lurks in the shadows, but that does not mean don't go. You have to walk down the dark path in order to get to the other side at dawn. You may be either crossed with or are experiencing sort of a lack of passion. Um, there's a sense of wanting to do things differently. Something sort of went out of whack for you, I feel like. <clears throat> Ahead of you, there's, there's sort of this confused, relaxed state. But also, I want to say, make sure you're not ignoring potential opportunities or possibilities. Don't put off, um, don't put off like work or projects, but also don't stay stuck in situations that maybe you're just clinging to for um, a level of comfort. Because again, we start off with the moon, that sort of dark scary path ahead but you know it's what brings us to the other side it's a part of the human process the journey the hero's journey so to speak um there will always be something to sort of climb through or navigate and it's our moments of facing those fears and facing uncertainty and carrying on anyway you know that's where we truly truly progress. Again, definitely uh, like and subscribe, all that stuff if you haven't. Sagittarius. You seem very focused in a specific direction um, or a goal. You also may have the outside influence on guard a bit, or they seem sort of either defensive or feeling like a victim in some way. I, I kind of get the impression of, I, I'm not sure what that is, but some something, uh, or I'm gonna say someone around you uh, is probably a bit put off. And the things unseen, we have the magician. <clears throat> I almost kind of get this narrative of you know, for lack of a better term, like haters or, or like someone, you know, maybe the energy you step into when you step out of your comfort zone, maybe it makes other people uncomfortable. You fear a return or to your old sort of self or a regression. But I don't think that that's going to happen. You have the Queen of Pentacles in your outcome, okay? So this would suggest an energy of, you know, very, very stable, very abundant, very nurturing, surrounded by a garden, you know, um, beautiful view. Look at that furniture. It probably costs a lot. You know, it, it's a very um, opulent card. So especially, I, I want to say, especially if you're experiencing trouble in a specific area in your life, um, and everything sort of looks unknown or scary. I would say don't get overwhelmed in that because I think there's a need to sort of almost detach from your anxiety or fear and just sort of keep going. Um, again, you know, maybe you're not even supposed to have a full picture right now. Uh, you're supposed to be in the dark and shadowy path to get to the other side. You're supposed to lean into that trust. You're supposed to trust yourself enough to make the right moves. Nice. 
suffice for Sagittarius. This is a time to really sort of lean into your power, okay? You probably have a lot of decisions to make and you're no longer missing the point. You become um, illuminated in some way. And I think that this is gonna benefit you greatly. And you're gonna also probably come to find that a lot of your suffering um, comes from perspective. Or there's something about, you know, needing to understand something with the way you're seeing. Um, you know, when there's no longer a debate around it, there's no longer a fear or um, unwarranted judgments, you know? We have the Ten of Swords, too. Clarify. Even though, like... Clarify. I almost feel like there's a close call of uh, almost like going against your better judgment. Or you, you somehow avoid like a close call. Like, maybe you were confused. Maybe you had things one way, but they're actually another. So, um, I'm going to take this a bit further on my Patreon. Again, that's the first link below. So, I hope to see you over there, Sagittarius. Thank you again for joining. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you on Patreon.